Hi, I'm Tamara and welcome back to the Fresh Magazine Test Kitchen. Today, I'm gonna to show you a classic dish that Aussies love, pumpkin soup. This version though is really, really simple. No tedious peeling and chopping, that job that you all hate. So let's get into it. Okay, so I've washed my hands. Now you don't need much for this recipe. I've got one button up pumpkin here that's about 1.8 kilos. I've got a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg, some extra virgin olive oil, a bulb of garlic, one brown onion, 200 mils of thickened cream, and 500 mils of chicken stock, but you can use vegetable stock if you like. First job is you need to preheat your oven to 200 degrees fan force because the secret tip to this recipe is we are roasting this pumpkin. Roasting makes it really rich, caramelized, sweet kind of flavor. Um, so all we need to do is to score that pumpkin, um, dress it with some olive oil, salt and pepper. Another little tip for you, you can actually already buy these halved from Woolies. So barely even a need for a chopping board. Okay, so everything is on that tray. I'm roasting that onion hole and that garlic bulb hole, totally fine. That roasted garlic is gonna give it a nice sweet flavor, which is gonna be amazing. So now I'm just gonna dress that pumpkin with a little bit of olive oil and some salt and pepper. How simple is the prep for this recipe? I told you this is really easy. So now it's just off to the oven. It's gonna take about an hour or until this is roasted, caramelized and tender. So I'm just gonna give the pumpkin a little test just to double check that it's done because it's really critical at this point that we've cooked it enough so we can easily scoop it out and blend it. You can't blend raw pumpkin, can you? <laughs> so let's check. So I've just got a little sharp knife. I'm just gonna make sure, see how that just glides all the way through, it's like butter. So it's perfectly cooked, it's got some nice caramelized spots on there too, all extra flavor. Let's bring it over. So it's all done. Just allow the pumpkin to cool just a little bit before you scoop it into the blender. So if I get a spoon into that now, it's gonna be super tender. So I'm just scooping out the seeds and then putting them aside on the tray. Um, along with the leftover roasted pumpkin skin, you can just drizzle it with a little extra olive oil, salt and pepper and then snack on it. So the finished soup you can actually store in the fridge for you know up to a week or just freeze it and it will keep for a couple of months. Mm, maybe there's a few stray seeds in there but it's okay, don't stress. You can mix up the flavors with this soup as well. So before you roast the pumpkin, you could rub it with miso or curry paste. And then to serve it, you could also amp it up with things like pesto or nuts. So if you don't have a blender either, that's totally fine. You can just use a stick blender in a large pot over the stove. So I'm just gonna cut the onion in half. It should be nice and soft inside. And the garlic as well, I'm just going to halve that straight through the middle. Uh, so I know I promised you no cutting, but like this is pretty minimal cutting, come on. Oh, this garlic smells so good, I could just eat this by itself. So everything is in that blender, um, so all that's left to add now is the stock and the cream. So again, I'm using chicken stock, but you could use whatever stock you like. Vegetable stock is great to keep this vegetarian. So I'm just blending this in batches because you can't really go backwards if you make this too runny. Um, so just adding a little bit of liquid, blending in between, that's the way to go. I'm using thickened cream, but to make this recipe dairy free, you could add things like coconut cream instead. I'm also just reserving a little bit of that cream to swirl through at the end help if it turned off. There we go. So don't forget that nutmeg. I'm adding a little bit now and I'm also gonna sprinkle some over at the end. So just make sure you double check the seasoning as well. So it's got chicken stock in there, so it should be nice and salty enough. And we did put salt and pepper on the pumpkin, but make sure you double check. So I'm just gonna taste a tiny bit. Yum. That's actually salty enough for me. So it's ready to serve up. So it should still be warm enough to serve, but if you do like it piping hot, just pop it into a saucepan and reheat it gently. 
So we're all done and that is really the simplest pumpkin soup that you will ever make. So just get that into the bowl. Look at that texture, so good. Then I'm going to finish it with a little drizzle of cream. A little bit of mess, that's okay. <laughs> a little sprinkle of nutmeg that we reserved from before. And some chopped chives. And don't forget, you absolutely need some crusty bread with this. So you can warm that through in the oven in that last 10 minutes of cook time. Um, so look at this, no fuss, no bother. This is a perfect warming winter meal. You can find this full recipe in the link in the description below or check out my other videos.